Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. According to a recent post by Microsoft, um, they are quite keen for organizations to move away from the Internet Explorer 11 browser. As many of you know, and I have posted previously, the browser Internet Explorer 11 is reaching its end of life and its support on the uh, 15th of June this year, 2022. So today we are already on the 3rd of May in my region of the world, which doesn't give you too long if you are still using the browser to um, move over to another br a browser or migrate over to the Microsoft Edge web browser. And I did post a video yesterday um, where we discussed the uh, desktop browser market share um, with, with four browsers installed on desktop PCs worldwide. And in those latest survey results, Internet Explorer 11 was sitting at less than 1% of the desktop browser market share worldwide, which means it is um, on its way out. And if you are still using the browser, it is really time to move on. And Microsoft has uploaded this post on the 28th of April, which was just a couple of days ago, where, as they say, don't wait for the 15th of June. Set your own Internet Explorer retirement date now. Um, most users of the Internet Explorer 11 browser are mainly corporations and enterprises. I'm not too aware of too many uh, home users who are actually still using the browser. And a lot of these corporations still have their systems set up using Internet Explorer 11. So basically what Microsoft is uh, saying in this post, in a nutshell, is it's time to move on and you don't want to be caught with your head in the sand, so to speak, when the 15th arrives. As, as far as I know, when the 15th of June arrives, the browser will not open and function. So if your systems are still set up using the browser, uh, you're going to have to uh, do some disaster recovery on that date as um, nothing's going to function. And they are basically urging you because of that fact. Uh, so you don't have to do go into disaster recovery mode to move along before the 15th of June. And they post um, some of the ways how to do that and some suggestions in this article, which I will leave a link to down below if you are interested, as it will give you a lot more information to what I'm going to briefly um, summarize for you in this video today. So they say uh, uh, the best way to prepare for the browser's disablement after the 15th of June. So that's a disablement, which means the browser will not work after June the 15th, is to proactively retire Internet Explorer in your organizations before the 15th of June and they say yes how and uh, make sure Internet Explorer mode is set up and in a nutshell Internet Explorer mode is a feature built into Microsoft Edge which will let you um, access um, Internet Explorer dependent sites as they say uh, through the uh, Microsoft Edge browser instead of actually using the uh, legacy Internet Explorer browser schedule your internal uh, browser retirement date Inform your users and have them import their data. And then the fourth and final step here is broadly deploy the disable Internet Explorer policy on your internal retirement date. And then they say, yeah, they've consolidated some resources for your Internet Explorer 11 retirement. And you can just come and click on each of these links to get more information and show you how to do that. So just a quick reminder, if you are still using the browser, and make sure you migrate to another browser or to the Edge browser before the 15th of June to avoid basically a catastrophe if you are still using uh, the browser in your organization. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.